Hey everybody, it's me Vic. So I'm making a video in regards to Wavelink and this is gonna be the second video in regards to the follow-up regarding the soundboard, not using the Elgato Stream Deck software this time and audio sources, but this time we're talking about voice mod, right? So I am gonna mention I am using 1.7.1.3057 on Wavelink. And I am using a Stream Deck. So the Stream Deck version I am using is 6.1.0.18521. Now, I do want to mention um, there is only one input here in Wavelink that you can route the audio to your microphone effects. And that would be SFX, which is what you would use for a soundboard or you would use for sound effects. And uh, with that, we're going to talk about it. Now, if you're asking why can only one be done, that's per Elgato. You know, I, I don't have the answer for that. But I checked all sources, including Aux1 and Aux2, and I'm going to actually load these to give you a preview of what I'm talking about here. So in the drop down, right, you're going to see all of these options, all of these options for choosing an input for the channel. We're going to skip SFX real quick here because I want you all to see this. And as you can see, there are no options to route to microphone effects at this time. The only channel that is capable of routing to the microphone effects is SFX. So if you're wanting to use a soundboard to send it to your Discord, to send it through OBS, um, use it through Wavelink so that way everybody can hear that audio, then you're gonna wanna make sure that you choose SFX as your input, as your speaker source. So that way it routes it through your microphone. That way you don't have to toggle between different microphones via voice mod or um, your regular microphone from El your Elgato device that routes it to microphone effects. You can actually just have it all unified to one microphone and it'll actually put it to whatever you set up using your microphone effects as your primary mic. Now I used to use the voice mod microphone um, and I realized I only use the voice changer when I'm playing horror when that includes Dead by Daylight, mostly Dead by Daylight, or um, some other scary game. But I don't really, I don't really use the voice changer that much. I prefer to use my own voice. Um, and what we're gonna do is uh, talk about voice mod here. Um, you can use voice mod and it'll automatically route for the voice mod microphone through that microphone. Like voice mod has already set it up that if you set voice mod as your primary microphone, whatever voice mod uses in their software, automatically routes through that as well. Um, personally though, I prefer to route everything to my microphone effects. It's just easier for me. So that way I can have both my Elgato sounds that I have separately, as well as my voice mod sounds go through one microphone without having to switch my microphone all the time. Plus I use VSTs, so I prefer to use my microphone effects as opposed to the voice mod microphone, unless again, that I'm playing horror and that's the only time I use it. So um, let's go ahead and get started here. As you can see, you have the, uh, the microphone showing. We made sure that we've clicked on route to microphone effects. We are gonna actually pull up here the voice mod software, right? So the cool thing about voice mod is when you first open it, you're gonna have to come here to settings. And what you're gonna do is select your Wavelink microphone effects and you're gonna select your output to Wavelink sound effects or SFX. And the reason why is again, you can only route SFX to your microphone effects. So this is why you wanna make sure that Wavelink SFX is selected for your output and your Wavelink microphone effects is selected for your input. All right, so now that we've got that out of the way, um, we can go to soundboard. And soundboard is a really, really cool thing here in voice mod, right? These are custom. Um, and I really like this because uh, I didn't even know this existed in voice mod, but do you see where it says VM tuna? If you click on that button, it is gonna take you to this website. And in this website, you can actually choose any audio file that is listed here and automatically put it into your soundboard in voice mod software. And then we're gonna talk about using the stream deck. So let's go ahead and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get to that here in a minute. But for now, let's go ahead and choose anything to input in, into our, our soundboard here. So there's some trending ones. <laughs> Woke up in a new baguette. <laughs> no. Um, okay. 
Okay, I like that. Oh, but you know what? That's probably really long. We should probably get something short. Bruh. Yeah, we like that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is click here on the little three drop down, uh, the little three vertical dots here. And we're just gonna click on send to voice mod because you can actually automatically send it to voice mod. And we're gonna add it to our soundboard. And there you go. So in Stream Deck, right, I'm gonna go to my, where did I put it, my voice mod. And I'm gonna select soundboard. Now you can actually install the voice mod plugin to your Stream Deck. You would just go to the Stream Deck store here and you would type in voice mod. And you would make sure that you install this one right here. Once you install it, you can actually just link up voice mod. It picks up on the software and you're able to route it. So for here, I'm gonna to go to my soundboard and I am gonna select bruh, cause that's, that's what we're doing. We're routing it through our, our microphone here. So what I'm gonna do is minimize my Stream Deck software because that's honestly all we needed to do in Stream Deck. I'm gonna minimize voice mod because that's all we needed to do here. I'm gonna minimize the browser. I'll probably add more stuff to my soundboard later. Um, it did take me a while to do this video because I wanted to make sure that everything was thorough before creating this content. So that way I was able to give you accurate information for the time that the software is um, current. And I know that, you know, you'll probably stumble across this video in the future and things can change. So just keep in mind that if there is a newer video out, I will do my best to try and link it. But if not, look for something recent as well in case any changes have been made. But uh, this video is being created on 4-8-2023. And uh, let's go ahead and get started here. So one thing I wanted you all to see, if I can find it again, here we go is the OBS because that's what I use to record all my video and content. Um, and what I'm gonna do is do the, the bra sound, right? So I had to go to my soundboard that I just created and this is the bra sound. Bruh. Now you see how it went through the sound effects? Uh, here I'm pointing at my screen. <laughs> Y'all can't see my fingers unless they're right here. Um, so you're gonna maybe sometimes see it come through here, but mostly you're gonna see it here. But since we have the OBS audio mixer here, you'll be able to see it here. Now this does also show up through Discord. So if I were to do this to one of my friends while we were playing a game, what's your favorite scary movie? They would hear that because this is my primary microphone in Discord as well. As you can see, my input device, even though I'm using voice mod, I can still route all of my SFX through my Wavelink microphone effects. And I can have it still to where my friends, when they come on stream or whatever, this is gonna be the output device that I have capturing in OBS in a completely separate audio source. But if I want everybody to hear what I'm doing when I push a button, they're gonna hear that. What's your favorite scary movie? Or they'll hear this. Now, one thing I do want to mention about soundboards, right? Soundboards are going to actually need a stop button. And we're going to talk about that here in, uh, in Stream Deck software. Anytime that you are playing something, like for example, the Wii music, right? You need to stop something at any point. You want to make sure you create a stop audio button. So that's the only tips that I can provide in regards to uh, making a soundboard as custom as you can for yourself using the voice mod software along with Elgato and Wavelink. Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody.